Hi everyone. Um, welcome to another day of Tomb Raider. Um, my name is Elizabeth, and um, I'm going to be. This is day four, I think, of Tomb Raider. I think I have a skill point. I do, and we're right now going into fight uh, Trinity, and uh, I think we'll get started. Without further ado, let's go. Oh. Might be going the opposite way I am supposed to. Um, I think we're supposed to head that direction. Yeah. So, in playing this game, um, ooh, there's a there's a lovely campfire. Must must gather things first, though. Oh, I'm pull it up. So, in playing this game, I I, I wish you could see the view from my tent, Lara. Oh, the dig looks so beautiful in the early evening, when the last embers of the sunlight dying upon a good day's work. Then, one by one, the fires are lit, and the smell of roasting meat wafts across the camp. They tell me that it's guinea pig. I declined it. Roth ate too. Maybe next time I'll bring you out here too. How did your history test go? Those were my happiest memories, Dad. Being out on the digs with you. Especially when you gave me my own little plot to excavate. I liked that. Feeling that I was part of something important. I aced that test, by the way. Hmm. <laughs> That's so sad. Um, just the memory of her dad. And, uh... Oh, it's so sad. I feel very bad. Um, suicide is, um... Especially seeing somebody suicide is uh, really not good, um, and and then there's so much uh, stigma around suicide, right? Stigma, of mental health, and um, and we don't take care of my mental health as well as we do as our physical health. Like no one has has a New Year resolution of you know I'm going to instead of going to the gym. Everyone looks looks at you funny when you say I'm going to take better care of my mental health, right? And and that shouldn't be the problem, really. And why is that the problem? Unfortunately, uh, the stigma of mental health is, is out there. And um, because we don't want it to, people don't want to be associated with mental health illnesses, um, that just eventually takes its toll, right? <laughs> And it's so sad for probably Laura to see her dad suicide in front of her in such a violent, violent way of just going, right? Gunshot to his head, right? Um, definitely. And he, he wasn't, I don't, the thing I don't like about this game is that they described him as crazy, you know? And um, that's, that's not how it's supposed to be, I believe. I think, I think that... Um, if we take care of our mental health, you know, and if we um, know how to face it, you know, especially with our... Oh, I want to shoot this chicken. <laughs> Never mind. Um, Jacob, can... it's a mess up here. There's no sign of your people. Sophia might have taken them into the catacombs beneath the tower. But I've lost contact with her. All right, I'll look for her there. We're almost done evacuating the wounded here. I'll join you soon. Anyways, I was just... <laughs> it's getting really emotional <laughs> when, um... You know, the story talked about Laura's dad being crazy and one of those crazies, right? I, I don't think... Um, I mean, there are people who are, like, um, sociopaths and, you know, but I don't think... I just think that... Something could have been done to save uh, Laura's father, um, Lord Croft, and and I think I think we just, as a society, just need to get better at at dealing with mental health issues. And when someone is in that crisis, you know, to properly not turn them away, but really deal with um, those things. You know, I know this is a game. Sorry, guys. <laughs> been um, Thank you for listening, <laughs> and uh, 
I'm really sorry for my rants. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I really feel about we don't address it well enough, so. I think this game is needs a little touch up. Um, because people think Laura's father was crazy and she believed that he wasn't, right? I think I think this quest is a little for a story, it's good. Um, for dramatic purposes it's good, but in, in real life I think um we shouldn't. Oh, interesting. Uh. <coughs> In real life, I really think um, we should address that better. Um. And and in the end, uh, his her father was just really his his mental health wasn't really. Sound and I don't know. It's, it's really sad. Anyways, I um, I myself know someone very close to me dealing with um, mental health issues, and uh, I won't go into detail because it's uh, it's really just a rant. But um, but watching someone go through that is pretty intense. So. Thing right here. Oh, I want to collect all these things, but I'm I think there's a box somewhere here. There you go. I wanted to open that. Oh, there's a campfire. So, yeah, sorry about my rant. <laughs> But what choice do I have now? I can't let Trinity wipe these people out. There are lines here that I crossed a long time ago, and there's no going back. I've got to help them. It's clear that Jacob's people would die for him and me for them. That kind of loyalty is rare. And to find it here at the ends of the earth is truly remarkable. If I fight with them, Perhaps Jacob will trust me enough to tell me what's really going on. Alright, let's get back to gaming. Enough about... Um... Those... Deep, heavy stuff. But really guys, though, if you guys are dealing with any... Oh god, no. Oh shit. Any mental health issues, I really encourage you guys to not stay hidden. That's the basic gist of my whole rant and message. Anyways. Chickens. There's dead people everywhere. Oh. Our ancestors came here as men and women fleeing Byzantium. They wandered into a wild that almost killed them. But they survived and found this valley. And how did they honor this gift from God? By tearing the stones from the mountains and building a new empire. A mocking echo of that which almost destroyed them. But like the Tower of Babel, God saw fit to cast us down and to make us humble. We learn to listen to the land, to become stewards, not conquerors. And in turn, the land has offered up its secrets. You only have to listen. Hmm, very nice. <clears throat> Where am I supposed to go here? Just up here, right? Alright, um, I'm getting a phone call. I'll uh, talk to you guys later, sorry.